Hi, my name is Kaden. I am nine years old. I'm in the fourth grade. I go to August Orange Elementary School. I'm here with Lieutenant Governor Josh Green. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for interviewing me. Uh, what are, What is your thoughts about opening day? It's pretty exciting to see so many great people here working together, and it's great to see young people engaging in government like yourself. We really appreciate that. What are your goals for this year? I'd like to see us take a big bite out of homelessness. I'd like to see us help all those people that are really suffering a lot with addiction to drugs and mental illness and who are homeless. So we'd like to get everybody on the same page and, and solve that problem. How do you accomplish it? Well, we're talking about a couple things. We have to build more houses. We need to do a program called the H4, and that H4 is hygiene center, health care, housing, medical respite, and then housing at the top. And if we do those things together and we build enough houses, we'll probably help a lot of people. What made you want to become governor? Well, I wanted to become lieutenant governor because I wanted to really help out a lot of people. Uh, I was the senator from Kona for 10 years, and I'm a doctor sometimes on the weekends, but you only get to help a few people at a time that way. So this way I get to work on the bigger issues. Thank you for your time. Aloha, my name is Evie. I am 11 years old. I attend Alemano Elementary School. I'm here with Representative Mizuno. I have a few questions for you. Sure. My first question is, what do you do in Kalihi? Well, basically that's my district and um, basically everyone in my district represents my employer. And so whenever there's an issue with the streets or um, street lights or the infrastructure or parks or what have you, many times they'll call me, even if it's a police issue. And what we do is right when we get the call, we do our best to address those issues for our people in our district and the state for that matter. What are your responsibilities as a representative? A number of things. We have to uh, make sure that our district is being well maintained and taken care of. In addition to that, though, we also have um, an obligation to the entire state of Hawaii. So we're provincial leaders in that we uh, provide leadership and care and purview over our districts but we're also statesmen. We have to represent the entire state of Hawaii. So if it's an issue that's on Kau in the Big Island or Molokai or Kauai, we still have to address those issues because again, we're not only provincial leaders, but we're state leaders too. What are your future plans? Um, hopefully to continue doing what I'm doing. I haven't rolled out running for higher office, but uh, we enjoy what we've been doing. This is gonna be my seventh term, and we just like helping people and working for policy to help uh, for the betterment of our communities and our people of Hawaii. So I enjoy what we're doing right now, though. Is there anything you wanna say? Uh, basically, that uh, I share health, and I think health is very important to everybody, especially our people in Hawaii. We're a little different. We're not part of the contiguous US. We, Alaska and Hawaii are the only two states that aren't part of the contiguous uh, US. We're an island state, so we have different uh, concerning issues with healthcare. Our native Hawaiian population, as well as our general population, has a higher rate of chronic kidney disease. We have a higher rate of obesity and uh, high blood pressure. E example would be one in seven have chronic kidney disease compared to one in nine in the nation. That's because of our ethnicity, our various ethnic groups in Hawaii, and our diet, which sometimes is high in fat, sugar and salt. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the interview. This is Evie and you're watching Youth Capital Commentary. Aloha, my name is Carl. I'm 11 years old and I attend Makalapa Elementary School. Today I'm here with Virginia Beck. Virginia Beck, what is your role for the public access room? Hi, I'm the coordinator of the public access room and the office is here to help the public um, interact at the legislature. So um, the whole idea is that in a democracy power is vested in the people, so the people need the resources to use that power. So the public access room was created. We have computers that people can use, uh, we have workspace, we have lots of handouts, we do um, workshops and things, and we're completely nonpartisan, so we're not affiliated with any political party, and we help everyone who walks through the door, regardless of what their ideas are, um, for affecting laws that, um, that are going to be made for the state. Um, do you enjoy doing this? 
I do. I love it. I love it when people find out that they have this resource to help them add their voice to the process, and they realize that they're a really important part of making laws for the state of Hawaii. Can you tell me a little bit more about the public access, access room? Sure. We were created over 25 years ago by the legislature. They decided that, you know, if people have this power, they need to have the knowledge of, like, how a bill becomes a law. I mean, who knows? You learn about some of it in school, but you don't always remember it. So you have the public access room as your staff that can answer any questions you might have. You can call us up and say, I'm interested in this and that issue, and are there any bills that I should be aware of, or I might want to offer testimony, and we can help you figure out how to do that. Okay. Thank you for your time. You're very welcome. Aloha, my name is Kalia Moana Lapera. Today I'm here at the state capitol. I attend Wainai High School as a freshman, and today here I'm with AEI. So, uh, what is your organization? Well, we're not really an organization. We are here to help K.L. Moku Kapu, he who lives on Maui, and he recently gained back his land titles to the Kuleana lands that belong to his family. And so we're here in support of him. His sister is here, and we have several other people who are also here, and we're going through that process of gathering information and paperwork in order to do what he did and get our lands back. So how do you think this will benefit from your community? Oh, I think this will not only benefit our community, it will benefit all of Hawaii, Ko Hawaii Pai Aina, because so much of the land has been lost, and there were so many quiet land titles given out but through this process, we actually go through documents that are considered legal in the current legal system. And so they have no other choice but to acknowledge the documents and reward the title back to its proper owners. So how did he get uh, the land back? It was a long, long process, and it's better that he does that. But by gathering information, such as birth certificates, burials, land deeds, and everything authorized and certified through the Bureau of Conveyances, you put together a portfolio and you present it. And it's in that presentation that starts the process until you're acknowledged as the rightful owners of the land. That's very generous of him to get the land back and to have our communities all connected together. Well, I don't know if it's generous of him. It's high time that we are able to get our land back. Those documents have always been there. They're not newly created documents. But what it is, is it's taking away all of the lands that have been stolen in the past, basically through quiet land titles. It really is better if he talks more in detail about it because that's his little. And we support him and there's other people in our little hui who also have gone through that process, some who have already also been entitled their lands. So it's, it's really positive, it's really hopeful for the future for all of Hawaii's people. Well, thank you for your time and a hui ho. Aloha, a hui ho. Aloha, my name is Dontavius Ricketts. I'm 11 years old and I attend Red Hill Elementary. Today I'm here with Representative Sam Kong. How are you doing today, sir? Oh, fine, Dante. And you? I'm doing good. So, my first question is, what have you done in the past? Well, I was in the Air Force and then when I got out, I was actually a computer technician. Then I ended up being a businessman, and I owned IAEA Flores. That sounds amazing for real. And my second question is, what are you going to do to make public schools better? Um, actually, what I want to do is follow the Finland model. It's actually one of the world's top education systems. But what they did was make education a priority, and they did that by actually elevating um, education by actually ed uh, elevating teachers to a point where they made teachers almost as if they were doctors and lawyers 
So to become a teacher was not a simple process, but the respect they earned and the pay they earned was as if they were like a doctor or lawyer. So to get to that process is what I want to do here in this state. Oh, okay. It, what are you going to do to help the homeless? And the homeless is a whole different ball game. What I want to do is create true Ohana zones and housing. So behind you even, just so happens, we have examples of creating Ohana zones on properties identified that we could use to create housing for the homeless. Is there anything else you want to say to your, your people? Oh, okay. Um, we need to control our cost of living here in the state. So folks like you at your age can afford to live here. It's not necessarily raising the minimum wage or anything like that. We actually need to control our cost of living so that when you grow old enough that you're not burdened by high taxes and high costs of housing but that you can one day have a future here in Hawaii. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Dante, and best wishes to your life and future here in Hawaii. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mason Tutuwano, and I'm from Mauna High School, and I'm here with Moses. So Moses, what brings you to the state capitol today? Well, thanks, Mason, for asking that uh, question. You know, I, I came down here mainly because um, I'm part of the Hawaii Army National Guard and the Hawaii National Guard. I'm the uh, director of joint staff uh, for the Hawaii National Guard. And my job is to uh, supervise our uh, staff for the Hawaii, for the adjutant general of the Hawaii National Guard. And our, as, as the National Guard, our role within the state is to respond to natural disasters, to assist the community in emergencies, um, that uh, when there's a de disaster declaration. And, uh, and for example, this past year, uh, we have been uh, responding to the, um, the floods that uh, occurred in the Kauai in April, as well as uh, the lava flows that occurred on Leila in the Leilani Estates on the Big Island. So coming down here is actually uh, part of being a state of Hawaii uh, force for the for the governor as far as the National Guard and at the same time uh, we have the adjutant general down here uh, participating in in the activities and uh, down on the, the floor and so I came here just to come by and uh, support them as well as uh, possibly stop by some of the, the the offices over here with the state legislatures and uh, just uh, stop by and say hi and that uh, kind of represent who we are for, as far as the Hawaii National Guard what is it like being in the National Guard? Oh, it's a great uh, opportunity for, for everybody. I've, I've been in the National Guard since I was 17. I joined from high school when I was in high school. In fact, January uh, 13, 1983 is when I joined as an enlisted soldier. And I, uh, I moved my way up to the ranks. I was a traditional one week in a month, uh, two weeks out of the year soldier. Uh, I joined from uh, when I was in Hilo High School, actually, on the Big Island. And from there, I uh, went to basic training, and I had the National Guard pay my way through, through college, actually, and got a degree. I was also in the police force, because the National Guard is really a part-time force, uh, not a full-time force. But in 2003, I became uh, full-time uh, in the National Guard, working here on Oahu, uh, and uh, and then I got deployed several times. But, you know, overall, when you're looking at the experience of being in the National Guard, uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful experience for everybody uh, who, who's interested in this type of work. The main thing that we do because we belong to the state is to assist the state in natural disasters and emergencies. Uh, throughout my career, I've been, I responded to Hurricane Iniki in 1992. Uh, I've also uh, responded to some floods on the Big Island back in the 2000 and uh, more recently of course we've had the uh, floods in, on Kauai and the, and the lava so at my level at this point I'm more involved in the planning and the execution of operations uh, that support the state and the county um, 
when the disasters occur. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. Thanks. My name is Jemai Wiggins and I am from Radford High School in the 11th grade. And I am here with a native Hawaiian couple. How are you doing today? Everything's beautiful today. Aloha. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a few questions. So my first one would be, why are you here today? We're here to ensure that the native Hawaiian voice is, and uh, presence is felt in this building. Um, this is the state of Hawaii. We are the first peoples of this land. And we want to make sure that our participation um, is marked that the Hawaiians were here. Okay, so my second question would be, how do you think that this will change in your community? First of all, I live in a Hawaiian homestead community of Nanakuli, Ahupua o Nanakuli, and I believe that our educational system needs to beef up. Our first language is Hawaiian. There's, most of the students there are native Hawaiians. So we need to beef up our first language. English is a foreign language for us, not first language. And my last question would be, how do you think that this will benefit you in the future? Well, by having our presence here, by always being here, we're on our fifth year of being here in this uh, capital, advocating and lobbying for Native Hawaiians. And we have seen a marked increase in awareness and acceptance of Native Hawaiian voices here. And the more Hawaiians we can get to come out here to the capital, um, the better it is and the easier our job would be. Um, because we're here um, from start to finish of the legislative session. And um, we want to have our, our people to come out and support this voice. Okay. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Aloha, my name is Michael Osafinga Tutivanu. I currently attend Monlo High School and today I'm here with... Uh, my name is Mishka Salva and this is my friend uh, Jim. So what brings you to the Capitol today? Um, so Jim and I were both part of an organization called Democratic Socialists of Honolulu and um, you know we're trying to stay active and engage uh, people at the grassroots level um, to support today uh, Bernie Sanders uh, for president in 2020. And um, Bernie, um, as you know, he ran for president in 2016. And um, he hasn't decided if he's going to run yet. But he said if there's strong grassroots support, he will run again in 2020. Um, so what we're doing here today is trying to get people to sign our petition. Um, you can sign it at uh, organizingforbernie.com. And um, that way he knows that he has support and he has people that are willing to knock on doors, sign wave, and you know, really give it their all in 2020. What are your hopes for the future? My hopes for the future are that we, we all have a shot um, at, in this uh, beautiful land called Hawaii. And um, you know, because right now, the way things are situated, it's very hard for people who are working, um, you know, part-time jobs, minimum wage jobs, just to get by. And um, we hope that, you know, electing someone like Bernie Sanders, who's a democratic socialist, who believes in moral government, and believes in a $15 minimum wage, uh, Medicare for all, uh, tuition-free college, and 100% renewable energy uh, in the next 10 years, um, we're going to have a shot. Um, not just, you know, the generation before us, but generations to come as well. Thank you for your time. Do you have anything to say to the audience? Um, if you're interested in uh, signing our petition, head to uh, organizeforbernie.com. Uh, if you're interested in joining Democratic Socialists of Honolulu, go to dsausa.org. Aloha, my name is Dontavia Swiggins. I'm 11 years old and I attend Red Hill Elementary. Today I'm here with uh, Anson Ushua and Makana Gomes. So, what school do you guys go to? I'm from St. Louis High School. Uh, I'm in the 11th grade and I dance for Hala Kawai Ulo Kala. And uh, I'm a, I go to Kamehameha High School. I'm in the 11th grade and I dance for Hala Kaleo Olaka Ikaikino Kala. So what brings you guys here? Um, us as a Lahui from St. Louis, 
the youth. We came here to help support our people and perpetuate our culture, representing our ancestors and you know, showing a lot of pride. Uh, we came as a school today to mm -hmm. represent uh, Kamehameha schools and uh, Ku'i, um, Kalo, and lay making, and we're here to represent our ancestors and give people a sense of what uh, being Hawaiian is. Again, I am Don Tavius Rikis. I'm 11 years old and I attend Red Hill Elementary, and you're watching Youth Capital Commentary. <laughs> My name is Carl. I attend my club in Matri School, and today I'm here with Destiny. Destiny, are you with an organization? Yes, I'm here today representing Young Progressives Demanding Action. And what brought you here today? Um, I'm here as the Social Justice Action Committee Chair, um, and we're here as a nonpartisan group just encouraging people to meet their legislatures and support and advocate for bills that they agree with. Do you enjoy doing this? Um, I do enjoy doing it. And I think it's very important for young people to come out and have their voices be heard on a political stance. Do you enjoy coming out here, seeing everyone's cultures and them dancing? Yes, I think that opening day at the Capitol is a beautiful chance to see all of the different cultures represented here in Hawaii because it is a very diverse population of people. Thank you for your time. Yeah. <laughs> Aloha, my name is Evie. I am 11 years old and I attend Aliomano Elementary School. I'm here with Will Caron. Um, I have a few questions for you. What brought you to the Capitol today? I'm here today to advocate on behalf of a few key issues that'll help working class people in Hawaii and to try to get citizens engaged in the democratic process to talk to their legislators. How is your, is your business going well? It's going very well so far. We've had a lot of people come up and ask us what we're doing, ask us about the issues that we're working on, and ask us how to find their legislator. And so we've been helping people identify which legislator is theirs and telling them how to go talk to their legislator about these issues, including raising the minimum wage and abolishing cash bail and a couple other things too. What do you do for your organization? I am the co-chair of the organization. So along with one other person, I'm in charge of running the organization and recruiting new volunteers and providing organizational materials to our members to go out and advocate on the issues. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. This is Evie and you're watching Youth Capital Commentary. Aloha, my name is Micah Osofinga Tutuvanu and I currently attend Mauna High School. And today I'm here with... Mark White. I'm the state director for Convention of States. Mark, my first question for you today is, what are you doing here at the Capitol today? Well, we're here to visit our legislators, and right now we're, we're just talking to people about Convention of States. We're collecting petition signatures to tell our state legislators that we want to have a convention of the states where states can get together and propose amendments that actually can help to limit the size and scope of the federal government so that states have more decision-making authority. My second question for you today is, what are your hopes for the future? Well, we hope to have a convention in the next couple years in which all the 50 states can get together in a meeting, a large meeting somewhere in the United States to propose amendments that will limit the federal government uh, fiscally, will limit their regulations, and will limit the their terms of office. So a lot of people don't like the career politicians. Well, this is one way of eliminating that. Do you have anything to say to the audience? We welcome everyone that's listening to go online to conventionofstates.com and take a look at who we are and what we do. And we'd love to have you join our Hawaii team. <laughs> Aloha, my name is Don Tavius Rikis. I'm 11 years old and I attend Red Hill Elementary. Today I'm here with... Kivale Kadina. And David Smoot. Alexis Leleo. So what are you guys doing here? We're here to greet our representatives and senators and wish them luck on this opening of this new session in 2019. And we're also here to talk about our organization and our services that we're providing this year and how the legislation can help us continue to support our community. 
So how does that benefit you? Well, we talk a lot about HIV and LGBT services and a lot of um, health care for disparaged communities, especially around the Chinatown and um, other homeless camp areas. And so we're here just to make sure that um, the legislators pay attention to those um, places and that they provide the services and the support that's needed in order to take care of that community. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Donovan? Dante. Dante, good, good job. Again, my name is Dontavius Ricketts. I'm 11 years old and I attend Red Hill Elementary and they're watching Youth Capital Commentary. Hi, my name is Jemai Wiggins and I'm in the 11th grade going to Radford High School and I am here with Mr. William. How are you doing today? Uh, very well, thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to ask you a few questions and my first would be what are you doing here today? Well, as you know, when the legislature opens in Hawaii, it's always good for all citizens to participate. And I, being a senior citizen about 75, this is an opportunity to come in and visit with your representatives. So how do you think that this will benefit you and your community? I think it, the legislature is always very effective because it has the resources and our tax dollars, but also your needs needs to be uh, focused on. So you come to the legislature and ask them for requests and hopefully it gets answered. And my last would be, do you think this would benefit in the future? Oh yes. I think more citizen participation will help. I think the more you come out, the more you see your money at work, and the more you can find out how to be involved in your government. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. My pleasure. What brought you to the Capitol today? Um, today has been very exciting. We're here be, um, bringing pollinator seeds for uh, to help the bees and the butterflies um, and have more food for, for them. So it's a, very exciting to be here. Is your organization going well? Yes, it is. We've been, we formed uh, our, um, our nonprofit Hawaii Seed in 2005. Um, and before that, we've had island groups at, at the grassroots level since 2002. What do you do for your organization? So um, I'm currently, I'm the president of Hawaii Seed. And with GMO Free Kauai, we um, help farmers and we um, bring a coalition together of nurses, teachers, residents, visitors, um, and try and uh, limit the amount of pesticides that are being sprayed and drift near schools and communities and into our water. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much for interviewing me. You have a wonderful day. This is Evie and you're watching New Capital Commentary. Aloha, my name is Micah Osafenga Titivanu and I currently attend Moanalua High School and today I'm here with Sharon. Sharon, my first question for you today is, what are you doing here at the state capitol? I'm here for support. I'm here for support all the causes that bring aloha to the aina. Oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> my second question for you today is, what are your hopes for the future? My hopes is for the future is that you, the keiki, bring in something we haven't even thought before, that we spread the aloha to the whole world, and that we anchor Hawaii in its own aloha and its own sovereignty, and the world learns from that how to achieve with peace and love and fierceness. So yeah, I'm here for support. <laughs> Would you like to say anything to the audience? <sighs> Come down and support with us. The manao here is just amazing, exciting, and beautiful. And the powers, you can feel it. So yeah, come and, come and join us. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. <laughs> and you're watching Youth Capital Commentary. My name is Don Tavius Ricketts. I'm 11 years old and I attend Red Hill Elementary. Today I'm here with... 
My name is Jim Cobb. So, Mr. Jim Cobb, what are your plans for the future? Uh, what are my plans for the future? Well, uh, I play music, and so I just hope to keep being able to, uh, to give that gift to the rest of the world and hopefully put some smiles on people's faces. So I heard that you play today. Um, so what, how does that benefit you? Uh, well, today it wasn't really about me so much. I just played with uh, a wonderful local artist, Kimmy A. Minor, uh, down here in the, in the house chambers. And um, we just kind of were asked to give our art to, uh, to this event here. And so I don't know if really I benefit that much, but I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that people enjoyed it and that, you know, we entertained. Sounds great. So when did you start playing music? Uh, I started playing guitar when I was eight or nine, and that's when I really knew that that's what I was going to do with myself for a living. Is there anything else you want to say? Uh, thank you guys for being here and for doing what you do, and uh, aloha. Hi, my name is Jemiah Wiggins, and I'm from Radford High School in the oh, 11th man. grade. <laughs> and I am here with the senator. How are you doing today? I'm doing Awesome, it's a very optimistic day, the first day of our legislative session. Great, okay, so I'm just gonna ask you a few questions and my first is, what are you doing here today? Uh, after I eat lunch, I am going to really sit down and, and talk with my fellow colleagues here about energy and how energy is gonna be the transformative process in which Hawaii is going to not just change this state, but change the world. Getting off of fossil fuels and harnessing solar, Harnessing the wind, geothermal, which is lava uh, flow, um, geo, uh, heat from the earth from, due to lava, as well as ocean thermodynamics, wave energy. We're putting it all on the table because Hawaii has such an abundance of energy sources and we should be glo global leaders in this area. So do you think these fossil fuels will um, ex be extinct in the near future? Well, there's only a limited number of resources. So as we drill more, we are putting, pulling out the supply. But more importantly, by using that supply, we're damaging the environment. So to answer your question, I think that we really need to move away from those old ways of creating energy and embrace new innovative ways. And again, Hawaii can be the center point globally for that innovation. Right, and my last question is, um, how do you think the natural resources will enhance in the future? Well, we need to preserve it. I mean, climate change is a product of of us using too much fossil fuels. We're just making the temperature of the earth go up. I mean, if you and my temperature went up two degrees, we'd be in the hospital. We cannot put mother earth in the hospital. So we really need to take care of her. And by going with clean energy, that's a huge, huge effort to making sure that we have a planet for you and your grandchildren to have and live on. Thank you for talking with us today, Senator. My name is Jemiah Wiggins from Radford High School, and thank you for watching Youth Capital Commentary. Go Rams! Aloha, my name is Micah Osafenga Tutuvanu. I currently attend Mauna Loa High School, and today I'm here with Romy Kachola, who represents District 30. Coachella, my first question for you today is what are your hopes and plans for District 30 this year? There's quite a bit that I want to do, but the major bill that I'm going to introduce and hopefully pass is a bill that will save every year over half a billion dollars every year. And that is to address our unfunded liability, which is like over 12 billion on health unfunded liability and over 12 billion on pension unfunded liability. The intent is to make sure that if we save a lot of money that will be dedicated to not just the current uh, residents of Hawaii, but I dedicated that bill when it's passed to my grandkids, to the young and future generations because our unfunded liability, the free funding will extend over 30 years. By that time, the one who's going to pay for that are the young and future generations. That is the major bill that I want to do. Other bills is to make sure 
that my district are pre properly addressed in their complaints. Like uh, below the stadium is Halaba Valley Estate. Their major concern is flooding, especially that Halava stream. The last time they dredged it is over 30 years. So you can see the silk, the mangrove, and everything else over there. And other uh, problems like the uh, drainage system of Makalaba Park. On Kalihi, the roads over there are kind of um, not in good condition, and uh, the only the only thing is the only state road in my district in Kalihi is Kalihi Street, which I already have done. All the rest are city roads and private roads. Other bills is to make sure that if we can come up with funding without raising taxes or raising fees or things that is needed to fund, that should be what we should do. And I'm looking at ways to do that without raising taxes, fees, or other source of revenue. What's your plans, or do you have plans to eventually develop Sand Island? Well, Sand Island is part of my district. I was the one who introduced the bill to set up what they call the Sun Island Business Association way back. And we made sure that those who are uh, the businesses over there will stay there for quite some time. So the bill that I introduced way back in the 80s uh, is to ex give them a longer lease, like over 55 years, so that they can have ways to at least borrow money for their improvements. So you can see that the best uh, industrial park in the district, and in in maybe in the entire state of Hawaii, is the South Island Business Association. Do you have anything to say to the audience? Well, all I can say is, on my part, I will make sure to represent the people of the state of Hawaii, particularly those who are residing in my residence. I've always been consistent on my stand on issues. I'm, oh, I've always been looking at funding projects as much as possible without raising taxes, fees, or any other kind of charges in their, uh, the way they f we fund it so that the residents of the district will not be burdened by it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for allowing me to at least express my points that you have asked. And hopefully, even the schools in my district are properly addressed in their needs for uh, school improvements and funding. Because we have a shortage of teachers. And by doing that, if we can address that, we will be able to help all the schools, not only in my district, but statewide. Aloha, my name is Carl Wiggins. I attend Makala Elementary School, and today I'm here with Don. Don, what brought you here today at State Capitol? Um, this is actually my first time at the State Capitol during the opening legislative session. I'm here with Living Wage Hawaii. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> Do you, are you with an organization, and if so, what is your part? Yeah, I'm part of Living Wage Hawaii. Um, right now, we're just um, encouraging people to sign up for a petition, um, sign up for updates, uh, just informing people about it. Um, yeah. Do you enjoy coming out here at State Capitol? Yeah, I was really nervous at first, but it's actually really fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your time. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Hello, my name is Jasmine Ricketts and I'm six years old and I attend Red Hill Elementary School. Today, what is your name? My name is Joanne Kealoha. What are you doing here? I'm going around to the legislators to let them know 
to remind them about the Kupuna Caregiver Program that helps uh, people who are working, still working, have jobs, and who are also providing care to loved ones at home. Thank you for your time. And again, my name is Jasmine Ricketts, and I'm six years old, and I attend Red Hill Elementary School. Today, you're watching Youth Capital Commentary. Hi, my name is Kaden. I am nine years old. I go to August Central Elementary School. I am in fourth grade. I'm here with Isaac. How are you? How are you today? Oh, I'm doing really good, Kaden. And it's um, uh, it's a real privilege to be here because um, I came here with my video two class to um, to film the Kui, to experience um, new things, new activities, get to meet new people. So it's really great being here. How many new people did you meet? So far, I met um, two people. Uh, I was interviewing people near the emus where they're um, doing the emu, and they gave me their manao on like how, like even though they're creating the emu, there's gonna be a time when um, when we're gonna come, where we're gonna be making the emu. So he's telling us that we should take advantage of this time because we're gonna be in the next generation, and the same thing is gonna apply to you. So it's really important for us to to accept this knowledge, really and inherit it because it's really gonna benefit us as Hawaiians in the future. Thank you for your time. You're watching News Capital Commentary. What have you done in the past? In the past, well, this is going to be my second term. So in my first term, I learned a lot. You know, this building and the legislature is very complicated. So I took my time to learn a lot and, you know, get to know the community members and see what the needs are. So now coming back into my second term, hopefully I can help out a lot more. Is there anything else you want to say? No, nope. thank you guys for coming down and I uh, appreciate the um, always coming to visit us here at the Capitol and keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Again, my name is Jasmine Ricketts and I'm six years old and I attend Red Hill Elementary School. Here watching Geese Capital Commentary. <laughs> Um, what brought you here today at the state capitol? I'm at 350 Hawaii and we're concerned about climate change. The uh, um, UN report and the federal report say we have 10 years uh, to do something about climate change or if we don't it could be the extinction of the human species. Are you with an organization? 350 Hawaii. So um, we're here to try to get climate change bills passed. Do you enjoy doing this? Uh, yeah, you get to meet a lot of people and get involved, and um, it's important. Thank you for your time. Aloha, my name is Dontavius Ricketts. I'm 11 years old, and I attend Red Hill Elementary. Today, I'm here with Representative Linda Ichiyama. How are you doing today? Fine. Thank you, Dante. So I have some questions. So my first question is, what are your plans for the future? Do you mean for this session? Yeah, for this session. Well, I'm the new uh, co-convener for the Women's Legislative Caucus. And so each year we introduce a package of bills that are to help women, families, and children in Hawaii. So hopefully I'll be able to work with different community stakeholders and get some of those bills passed. What, what are you going to do to help the environment? I think that there's a lot that we can do to help the environment. Um, and one of the things that I would like to work on is improving our litter laws. You know, we see a lot of trash in our roads and our sidewalks and in our beaches. And uh, with Hawaii as a very popular tourist destination, we want to keep our environment pristine. So I'd like to see better enforcement and um, more uh, uh, efforts to help combat littering. Is there anything else you want to say to your, your people or the audience? Um, I'd just like to say that it's a privilege to represent House District 32, which includes Salt Lake, Moana, and Aliamanu, and I'm always here to help. If anybody has any questions or needs to uh, find out information, I'd like to be a resource so they can contact my office anytime. Sounds great. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Dante. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, too.